What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a review for you here today and it's a mystery to me as much as it is to you. Check this rim out. Eee, squint, squint. All right. It, the plastic is pretty gummy. This one comes from my buddy Donnie. He always is getting these different companies and stuff that I've never heard of and uh, let me try out the disc. So I think this is Winget Disc Golf and it's the stratosphere i think i have no idea what the numbers are but it is domi it is flexi and we're gonna see how it flies so um maybe y'all like this i mean they got pretty plastic swirly and it feels good i like gummy plastic so it feels good so we're gonna see how this thing flies hey also if you've not checked it out or even considered it yet i've got a patreon account now and i'm doing some behind the scenes content and uh some exclusive uh, giveaways once I get some membership up. So uh, if you're a Patreon of mine, patron, whatever, uh, you'll be in a list of people that could be winning something. Might be worth it to you. But uh, yeah, behind the scenes content and early access to videos and stuff and I'll talk straight to you all. But uh, consider it, if you want to, that's cool. If not, that's cool. So get into this video all right so my first test for this disc is i'm gonna put it on hyzer and try to throw a hyzer like 60 70 percent this tailwind is gonna make it hard to tell true flights probably but so that wanted to flip up on that power already with a tailwind so that's going to tell you right there it's not a very stable disc it doesn't seem to be so now that we've seen how this thing flies on hyzer with the tailwind we're going to put it flatter and maybe go more distance out of it That's a decent throw. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take this thing. I'm gonna try to start it out on this side and see if I can work it all the way across. Well, didn't quite work it across. I kind of just like got it to turn a little bit. Still flew pretty far though. All right, I'm gonna hit this thing kind of low and maybe on a little hyzer. That thing's a really smooth flying disc. Wish I knew its numbers. Give me your numbers. All right, we've got a crazy tailwind right now. I'm gonna hit this thing on hyzer, see what happens. Holy cow. Yo, listen, I don't know anything about that company, but if you like good neutral to understable discs, you might want to try this one out because that is a really good flying disc. I can't lie. I can't lie. Let's give it up for this thing. I don't know. I don't really want a forehand of this thing. I don't like really domey discs for forehands. I'll do it for the video though. Hyzer. probably went into the water if you hit it on hyzer it's gonna hold it with a tailwind evidently all right this disc this is a really solid disc it's an understable um, at least in tailwind a super straight to turn 
this that can get some good distance. I think I was getting this close out to like 370 and maybe 380 once or twice. Have no idea the speed, so I'll have it up on the screen sometime in the video, but this is solid. I mean, I can't say that this is a bad disc. Um, definitely interesting. There's like maybe like one or two little things in the plastic that's like imperfections or something, but that just might be something that gets ironed out over time. But uh, give it a try. They got pretty plastic and it feels really good. So uh, give it a try. It'll be, I could see this being a really good disc for some low arm speed people. So definitely worth trying out the Wing It Disc Golf Stratosphere. One last throw. Okay. Solid. That's all I got. Till next time, guys. Peace.